G'day everyone, my name's Brad Emmett and for the Northern Football League, I'm here at the 2013 Senior Presentation Evening for our Football and Netball Senior Divisions. Tonight we will award the Frank Rosbrook Trophy for the Division 1 Best and Fairest in Football as well as pay recognition to all of our Choose Tap Netball Best and Fairest winners. Let's go and take a look at the night. NFL CEO Jeremy Burke. Jeremy, senior presentation evening. Always a great night to reflect on the award winners and the season that we've had so far. It is. Uh, it's a terrific way to, to end the year. We've moved it uh, back into a uh, in-season format. Traditionally, well, probably three years ago, it was uh, held after the season finished. But um, you know, we just felt like uh, we wanted to have all our of our functions through probably the festival of finals, and and that's what that's what tonight. The opportunity tonight brings is to celebrate what's what's occurred through our final series those thus far and then celebrate what's coming up and also you know recognize the award winners during the year joint winner of the 2013 frank rosbrook trophy i have with me cameron cloak from bundura cameron congratulations on your win uh, thanks mate uh, it's a bit of a surprise really but uh yeah i'm really happy with it yeah, it must be, I suppose, an honour to win such an award with such rich history. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm exactly uh, stoked, mate, and uh, the amount of people that have won it, and I've looked back on it, and uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, really happy and really blessed, really, thanks, mate, so it's been good. Yeah, but I suppose for you, the attention now really does turn to Saturday. Um, you face up against Montmorency for the title. Yeah, they rallied in the last quarter to beat you a fortnight ago. You must be looking forward to having another crack at them. Oh, definitely, mate, and uh, look, can't wait to pretty much 2 o'clock on Saturday, really, to be honest. And joint winner of the Frank Rosbrook Trophy, Mark Lynch from Heidelberg. Mark, congratulations on the win. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Now, we noticed you come across from the Essendon District Football League to play at Heidelberg for season 2013. We mentioned there's names like Mick Finn, previous winners of this award, um, Justin Murphy, Blair Harvey, Danny Nolan, just to name a few. What's it like running around with those guys? Yeah, they're all great players. Um, pretty intimidating when you first get down there. and. Um, they put you in line pretty quick, but yeah, once the season got on, you get to know they're really good blokes and you get a bit more confidence and that sort of showed in my form, I think. And just as we mentioned, you come over from the Essendon District Football League. You've won our award this season on the back of the best and fairest in that league in 2012. What's been the main differences that you've sort of noticed and the standard? Um, I think they're pretty similar standards, they're both, like, there's good players running around in both leagues but I think just with the Northern League I think they're a bit bigger bodies and probably a bit more physical, that's probably the one thing I noticed in the two. I'm here with the Choose Tap Netball Best and Ferris for Section 2, Casey Barnes at Woodlesey. Casey, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Now I've got it down here, it's been a very busy week for you, you captained your team to the Premiership on Friday night, also got the MVP for that match and now you've capped it off with this award, it's been like I said a very busy week. It's been extremely busy and having all three of our football teams also make it, it's been a long weekend but I'm very happy to have um, led my team to a Premiership. Section 5 winner from St Mary's, Claire Durham, Claire congratulations on your award. Thank you. Now it must be a real highlight in your time at St Mary's, I suppose the first uh, bit of silverware that's crept into St Mary's trophy cabinet. It has, um, the club have been around for a few years, comes up five years now, um, and for us to finally win, um, we won two grand final section three and section five, um, it was just fantastic. Yeah, and you are in season, a dominant season in defence, who are these sort of other players around you that have supported you in the team? Uh, especially my um, the captain Tess who I've been defence with, she's absolutely fantastic, um, without her I wouldn't have been able to, you know, Win. She came second as well, so we, I think we worked really well as a team. The Division 3 Seniors Best and Fairest from Watsonia, Lockie Dornoff. Lockie, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you're a runaway winner, 10 votes clear. It must have been a really outstanding season for yourself. Uh, the focus was more on the team, as you can imagine, from a coaching point of view, but individual accolades are uh, absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and just at 21 years of age to take on the playing coach role obviously shows a great style of leadership. Um, you picked up the club uh, last season, um, taking them into season 2013. How have you found your first year in charge? Uh, Eye-opening, uh, a big responsibility, uh, but something that I've really loved doing over the last couple of weeks and months. And uh, to be honest, it wasn't that hard when you have the committee that I had behind me and the players that I had, the respect I had from the players. Manager Samuel Zito. Samuel, it's I suppose a really good night. Season 
seeing your presentation night. It's just a night to reflect and I suppose award those the best of their field. Yeah, it's, it's great to have all the, the best players in the competition in, in one venue on one night as well. And it works well in, in the lead into to the grand final as well. It really makes it a showcase week for the, for the league. And, and congratulations to all the award winners tonight. Some, some great stars in the league. And in Division 1, Cloak and Lynch tying there. I think Cloak's probably unanimously decided as, as the best player in the comp by, by many who've watched the game for the past three years. And, and Lynch hasn't he had a great, great start to his career in, in the Northern Football League. And I suppose even down to Division 2 with Rowan Davies and then Division 3, Lockie Dawn off the runaway winner there. But also I thought our netballers as well, the efforts that they've shown and I suppose with the introduction of the new Northern Netball League show that the support that netball does have behind it. Yeah, well, on the first part, well done to, to Rowan. It's not, it's a big step to come up from Division 3 where he won the best and fairest last year and then to, to win it again this year, full credit to himself. Lockie Dornoff, we all know the impact he's had not only on the competition but also on the Watsonia Football Club and, and the netballs, it's, it's great to see such diversity in, in the clubs who won a best and fairest award as well. We saw some, you know, in St Mary's two sides have won a premiership, they have two best and fairest winners, so too Casey Barnes at Whittlesea but, but then you see Sophie Atkinson from the Fitzroy Stars, a competition that's been dominated by Diamond Creek for a couple of years. Lakeside had a massive year this year but it's great to see the Stars girls getting recognition as well. Well, there you have it, a night of very deserving winners across all football and netball divisions. Congratulations to all our award winners and thank you to all participants of the Northern Football League in season 2013. We look forward to not only this Saturday, where the Division 1 Grand Final will be held between Bandura and Montmorency, but also forward to 2014, where we hope to see you all again.